Kitaristas. Hola, kitaristas. Hola. <laughs> Me again, the weird llama man. And, uh, and then Mickey from kitaristas.info. Kitaristas junto info. Yeah. It's not punta, right? Punta no, is different. Uh, punto y punta es diferente. It's a big difference between punto and punta, right? Yeah, very, very different. I don't know what the difference is. It sounds to me like the same thing. <laughs> But do you want me to tell you the difference? Comment below. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so um, we're here with uh, the Wizard of Pitch by Dwarfcraft Devices. Trust me, I did the slideshows for a couple of Dwarfcraft videos, and every time you have to write Dwarfcraft, your fingers go <laughs> on the keyboard. <laughs> Dwarfcraft, even saying it's difficult. And then Devices, great company name. They make weird shit pedals. If we, you, yeah, if you approach it like, let's play some Eddie Van Halen riffs, you're in the wrong business for these pedals, okay? This is definitely for people that go out there, that look to tinker, that look to be inspired and have the pedal take you to a whole different place. Mm -hmm. And we already looked at the Reese Lightning, which is a over the top gnarly singing fuzz with a synthy quality, mm. but that was fun. It's super fun. I broke a string playing it. <laughs> um, The Wizard of Pitch is the kind of pedal I would turn on in the first place and try to play with it, not write a part and then try to apply it. Just com compose or write music with it on. Yeah, but then again the question is, will it do the same thing every single time? I don't know. It does weird <laughs> shit. We're gonna try to find out what it really does and what the controls do, I'm not sure we'll be successful. But maybe that's the whole idea. Let the paddle do its magic and you don't really know what it does, you know what I mean? So, um, Leslie, throw it next to Mickey. There it is. It's got a bearded hornet man. Um, so, there's a pitch knob, which technically does pitch. Volume makes it loud. Mm -hmm. um, you can't see this up there that says mix which is mixed, but I don't quite understand it fully. Speed uh, applies for when you do the step, and then bend, bends it. Self-explanatory. Exactly. <laughs> on the table, because it said on the website, this is beautiful for soundscapes, I also have a Dark World, go the pedal side, Leslie, please. I have a Dark World by uh, Chase Bliss, mm -hmm. which will create this kind of thing when we turn it on. A wibbly wobbly kind of lo fi, slightly pitchy reverb. This is the reverb that Batman would love. Yep, the Batman reverb. <laughs> um, right now, what you're hearing, and I think that's the only thing we're going to use because it makes sense the Rev Dynamis on clean with the Ox and uh, Lewitt MTP440 in front of a 112 cap, which is the uh, Tone King speaker, which we're using for this. Um, with this FGN Expert Flame Le Pretty guitar. <laughs> um, uh, Everything is French. What, Le what, Pretty guitar. What would what, what, what be pretty in Spanish? Bonita. Le Bonita guitar. Una guitarra bonita. What I've said. What he, what he said. <laughs> Una guitarra bonita. Ah, that's it. Very ah. good. That's very good. Si. That's very good. Con queso. <laughs> Una guitarra bonita con queso. <laughs> Because everything is better with cheese. Everything is better with cheese. That's what I learned today. <laughs> I still have not figured out how to put Leslie in the microwave so I can put, you know, melt cheese on her, but we're going to figure that out. Because then Leslie's going to be better. <laughs> not that she could be. I mean, come on. She's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on, here's the Wizard of Pitch. Now the Dwarf, dwarf, dwarf Craft, now the Dwarf Craft, people are like, who's Leslie? She's a nice lady switching this video up there, doing the live editing. So, turning it on, this is what happens. Okay, I hear wave, let's see if speed...
quite understand the mix knob. Not neither do it's I. It's not doing what what I would think it does. It's doing it, fucked up shit, but that's cool. It definitely do, does something. It kind of adds some low note or something bassy, but I can't say what's that. Let's keep that in the middle for now. <laughs> she said. <laughs> Get it? Get it? <laughs> Let's keep it in the middle for now. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, you came here voluntarily. Yeah, I did, I did. And you I, seen, I don't regret. I don't and regret. you've seen my videos before, so no taxis, backsies, okay? Yeah, yeah, everyone in Spain was doing good luck, man. <laughs> all of Spain. Yeah, uh, the 40 all, million. All of Spain. 40 million of people. You, you went through a line and was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is single note. So, pitch. Okay, you play some single notes, please. Uh, all right. <laughs> I was a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, up, up, up. Cable issue. That's it. All right. Let's play some here. There we go. What it does, <laughs> it it kind of changes the pitch. In well, duh, we, 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 yeah, but, but but how? how what, uh, okay, so let, let's do the bend thing. Okay. Wow. The battery is down. Oh, it's a bit. It's not predictable. You can't tell where. Well, the it's thing going is, down. now it's down. All the wait, wait. Do it again. Okay. It jumped back up. But it's not a trigger thing either, or is it? Some pedals have a trigger when uh, detects that you're playing harder or, or you're playing. Yeah. I'm afraid to try a chord, Henning. <laughs> Go! I think what you have to do is very few things yeah. and put a lot of effects behind it. All right. It's like a texture here. feel now okay if we go to the step it will jump around through the pitch somehow okay I'm wondering what happens if we go hmm. into a driving amp. 
Mm. You know? That's a good question. Uh, do, we, do we have one on? Um, let me drive the Morgan. I crank up the Morgan a bit. Let me see. That should be. I have no idea. What is the Morgan? Uh, six. The six. <laughs> Stupid or awesome? No, it's uh, awesome. Oh, okay, it's yeah. awesome. That's pretty awesome. And, and for my taste, it works better in distortion because you can tell better the levels of the steps. That's totally usable. Absolutely. The speed is very tough to actually match uh, to match a band that's the only problem <laughs> if it mm. would be midi syncable or something maybe but mm. it makes it more complicated this is, it, it's not tappable it's very difficult <laughs> this way there must be people much more creative and smarter than us <laughs> that know what to do with this musically i can totally hear this in a long interlude in a long drawn uh improvisational part where yeah. everyone's going free i can totally hear this as a pre-written freeform intro mm -hmm. before the band sets in before a gig i, I don't hear this as you're always on pedal <laughs> i don't hear this as you're always on once in every song pedal <laughs> but as a very special effect to be used here or there or as a super gimmick to have when you go into a recording session hmm. if someone says yeah but can you do totally crazy things and you're like i got the wizard of bitch right here fuckers hmm. you know um most certainly not your first in the chain of every song kind of a thing but it's unpredictability makes it more like an instrument and not a I know exactly what's going to happen because I don't think you know what's going to happen now and, and possibly for film scoring or something like that might be a good chance because we're always thinking the band context or we shouldn't or pop rock music context but there's also lots of composers out there that might get a good sound out of it for textures or ambience I, I can't necessarily say yay the Wizard of Pitch is the most amazing pedal but for the people that said, hey, those are sounds I need, the last thing we had was, uh, was actually the uh, reverb and the Wizard of Pitch before the drive of the Morgan, <laughs> which I would never usually do. That was kind of cool. It worked. I, I it would worked. Tell, it's not a pedal where you stack two or three tracks on top of each other. Or maybe you do. Actually, if you're into ambient shit, you know how to use it much better than I do. So, <laughs> And he, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> so, no, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna say, as always, of course, um, uh, uh, animales al final. That's what we're gonna say. It's time better. Yeah, it's, it's time, time better. better. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll final. do one more video today, and we'll, I'm gonna be perfect in Spanish. I'm gonna be fluent. <laughs> you know, punta and everything. Um, okay. So, uh, bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>